Dean, defeat here tonight, but lots of positives to take out of that one, I think. Good performance, good team. We played again, so fitness levels were excellent. Just didn't want to take any risks with a couple of players. I felt little niggles in that with it. A tough session yesterday. Um, so yeah, still pre-season, happy with the performance, not happy with the result, but at the end of the day, you don't win out in pre-season for the result. So um, the reality of it is we played well in, in different stages. Full staff, I thought we should have been in the lead at half-time. We weren't. Um, and we just got to create that winning mentality. That will take a little bit more time, I think. Yeah, lovely to see Nicky back on the score sheet. Brilliant header from him. Yeah, great goal, to be fair. Really good goal. Uh, walked the ball from right to left. Great cross from Shieldsy and Nicky, where we want him in the, the six-yard box, which is the whole zone. And uh, he's got a great goal getting across his man, a great header. So I thought we should have like stepped on a little bit then we got that goal and you know, made it two or three, but we didn't, so full credit to the opposition. Um, I suppose they got in a half-time, organised them a bit better, and they tried to overload us with long balls where they go into their back line, into their front line, and try sort of play 2v2 and, or 3v3, or try overload us that way. So, and maybe we didn't cope as well because Moose had come off and stuff like that with them kind of scenarios. So it just shows you it's, uh, it's food for thought. Great performance, I felt, by Danny Collins out there. He was looking really sharp tonight. Yeah, good player, good fitness levels, um, good, good football brain, good understanding. Um, so yeah, really good performance by him. Um, so yeah, we're pleased with him. I think it's really important we seem to keep the pressure on them quite a lot all the way to the end and obviously Ryan getting in there with a really good goal as well. Yeah, good goal. Really good goal. Ryan's been excellent, hasn't he, so far this pre-season. So, and like I said, he, the biggest thing with Ryan, I think we did an interview about a few weeks ago, where he's bought into what we want. Um, you know, it's not where we've met him 100% or some of the players have taught that before here. He's literally met, we've given 20% and he's gone 80% and that's so important. And uh, he's shown a uh, first class attitude, he's got ability, he's both footed, he can run. Um, he's just filling into his body, he's still only 21, so he's a top player, he's got a bright future. And plan for the rest of the week before St Albans on Saturday? Off tomorrow, back in Thursday. Uh, some of the lads that played 90 will do recovery, but they'll still do a little bit of work in the afternoon. Um, Friday will be intense and then we'll play St Albans and then after that, that's pre-season done. We're on to the, on to the main event, so preparing for Halifax. A couple of questions. What are you expecting from St Albans on Saturday? It'll be a tough toy, yeah. A good side, St Albans. Ian's got them well organised, experienced manager. Difficult place to play, big hill on the pitch. Um, it's going to be warm Saturday, so we're going to kick off a little bit earlier. So thanks St Albans for accommodating us with that. Um, I think it makes sense for both teams. We're going to kick off at one o'clock now. So yeah, it'll be a tough game. So like I said, we'll finish off this last sort of real intense week of pre-season before we ease down. Um, this week's probably one of the hardest weeks because um, it's a bit like a boxing match. You're going to fight 12 rounds, usually fight 15 just before it, a couple of weeks before it, and that's what we're sort of doing. So uh, it'll still be a tough week, and we're excited for the game. And finally, are you happy with pre season and how it's all gone for you? A bit delighted. We've had one main injury, uh, which is Daniel Powell, but in the you know, fifth week now. Um, yeah, our resilience towards injury has been good, and that's so important because that hasn't been good in previous years, so that's important. Um, Look, we still need to do a couple of bits in, in the recruitment department, so hopefully we can get them over the line. The marker has come back to us. The biggest issue now is when you're signing players, they've missed pre-season, or they've been trialling somewhere, or, um, or maybe they're alone, so we just got to make sure we sign the right players. And great B Army out in force, I believe it was the Amber Battalion who brought a drum, but they were great tonight. Yeah, good, really positive, and I think they respond to us playing well. Uh, to move on the ball well, our fitness levels, how we get after the ball when we lose it. So our attitude towards that's been good. So that gives them a boost, they give us a boost. So that collectiveness is so important. And uh, yeah, we thank them for their positive support this evening. Lovely. Thank you for your time, Dino.